Hey, 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 Pisces, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, December 4th to the 5th Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Uh, this will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will resonate with you today. Oh, I like seeing that, Pisces. Please don't forget to drop a like down below, share and subscribe, and hit that notification bell before you leave today. I do appreciate it. That way you get all notifications of all of my uploads. Uh, what, what else is up for Pisces for the next day regarding love? What can you tell me? Please don't make this fit if it does not. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, Pisces. We have the Six of Cups. And we have the Moon card. A lot, a lot of water energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And that's all emotion. I'm feeling a lot of emotion here. Now, the Six of Cups has to do with somebody from the past. Possibly reminiscing about somebody from the past. From childhood. And you could be hiding this from others. You could be thinking about this, thinking about times that were happier times. Just being happy with this person. I do not feel, obviously, that you're with them right now. But you're keeping this to yourself. And you're feeling a lot of love towards this person just by thinking about these memories. Clarify the Six of Cups, please. Clarify the Six of Cups. Why is Pisces thinking and reminiscing? Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Ooh. Yeah, let's see. The King of Pentacles. This could have to do with reminiscing about a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. This is somebody who's very down to earth, very trustworthy, very loyal, knows how to make things grow and appreciates things, appreciates what they have, what's surrounding them, can really build things. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Pisces. It looks like you, you want to make an offer to this individual. To this King of Pentacles. Now, this is just male energy. This could also be a feminine. Just ex exuding the, that male energy. Now, tell me why this... The, now, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. So, you're taking your time about making or moving on this decision. Um, I'm feeling you're not going to be able to hold yourself back from very for very long because I'm feeling a lot of emotion coming from this. So tell me about this moon card. Tell me about this moon card, please. Oops. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Oh, you're hiding it. Okay. All right, Pisces, now the plot thick, thickens. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You may be with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, and you are hiding it from this person. This will not resonate with everybody. Okay, for others of you, this can just be the feminine aspect of this king. Because I, I did hear Empress in my head. So if this is an Emperor and Empress energy that you're dealing with, these different aspects will emerge. But for some of you, I am feeling that you're keeping these feelings, this reminiscing about somebody from the past, from this person that you're with. Because... You possibly could be leaving them soon to offer this individual, make them an offer. Whoops, wait a minute. So we have the Knight of Cups, yeah, and the Seven of Pentacles. You want to make that love offer to them. And you want to build something. You're, you're trying to be patient to do this. You're trying to plant seeds in order to move forward in doing this. Now clarify this Ace of Cups. 
and five of cups. You're not happy where you're at. Whatever you're doing, even if you're alone, for some of you, you are single. You're already single, but you're not happy. You've been depressed. So now you're reminiscing on the past and you really feel like that's where you belong. Clarify this five of uh, cups. Why is Pisces? Um, oh, I've got cards flying everywhere today. Yeah, five of swords. Expect the unexpected, Pisces, with these fives. Wherever you're coming from, there was a lot of fighting, a lot of jealousy, competition. Uh, just, I, I just heard childish games. Clarify these two fives. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is this is what you're trying to run away from, literally. Literally. Run away from. Because your passion, your feeling, is lying elsewhere. You're no longer passionate about this anymore. Wow. Okay, so tell me how this other person will receive Pisces if they come forward. Three of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces, they're worried that somebody else is in the picture. So make sure if you come forward to them that you've already left this Queen of Cups. Because they do see it is possible to build something with you. But again, they're worried about that third party possibly being there because they do not want to be a part of it. King of Wands tells me that they're very attracted to you, that they do want to move forward with you. Um, they could turn it to a determined uh, and very action-oriented uh, person regarding this union. They want to move forward with you. They want to do it quickly as well. They're excited. They're attracted to you. They're very confident. They're looking very good as well. And they're very sexually alluring. So tell me, how else will this person respond to Pisces? Love offer. How else will this person respond? The Empress. I told you. I told you. Taurus or Libra energy. Again, this is coming up for a couple of the signs. If you're going to step to an empress, okay, make sure that there is not a third party involved because you will lose her or him. Could be an emperor. You will lose them. They do know their worth and they are so connected to their intuition now. It's not even funny. So don't even try it because you're going to lose them. So it's either you do it or you don't. Okay. But if you do it, make sure that you're leaving this third party behind. Okay. One more card for oh, their reaction. Okay. They're unsure. So they will think about it. But I do feel they will give you a chance, provided, like I said, you're stepping to them without this third party involved. This is the card of Aries and the card about taking a leap of faith without looking. Any advice for Pisces regarding this person? What kind of advice? <laughs> Ace of Wands, go forward with passion, enthusiasm, excitement, creativity. Step to them they're saying be creative when you approach them. When you first come back and offer them this love, don't be like everybody else. They're saying be unique, be creative, because the Empress will appreciate that. Okay, how else should Pisces, what other advice do you have for Pisces? Mm -hmm. Don't hide things from them. This is the... Uh, high priestess and don't give to two people and this goes hand in hand this goes hand in hand don't be giving to two people and don't hide things because you will lose this person okay you will not get a ch second chance with them okay Pisces well I hope you enjoyed this reading please don't forget to like share and subscribe right down below if you already haven't please don't forget to check out your monthly uh, December reading. I believe yours is up. If not, it will be within the next couple of days. So don't forget to hit that notification bell if you already haven't. That way you get notifications of when I upload all my videos. You have yourself a fabulous day, Pisces, and I will talk to you tomorrow.